Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone to the exciting broadcast. I'm your host Mahnu Rasid and today we have a very special personality joining us. We are honored to be in conversation with none other than the esteemed director of International School of Cordoba Bhilwal campus, respected Mr. Vakas Wahid Sahib. Thank you. So grab your headphones, settle into your favorite listening spot and get ready for an enriching conversation. 10 minutes with Miyawaka Swahid Sahib. Moving towards the question, our first question is, tell us about your experience in educational leadership. Thank you very much. I'm a very happy and feel proud that you are in my office and we have started a new feature for Cordoba. I have been working in education sector since uh, 2000, uh, I think, and I have been working in uh, Norway as a principal of uh, non-formal school system, as well as I have been working as a project director of the first Islamic school in Norway. Norway is the most richest country of the world, and they have a very special focus on the education. So I have a, a different experience in the Islamic schools. I have visited different Islamic schools of the UK. Germany, Spain, Italy, and as well as in uh, Pakistan. Uh, as my the personal background, I have been uh, involved in the madrasa system. I have started the first uh, largest uh, uh, NGO working for a better education in the rural areas of Punjab, the Zali Education Trust. So you can see that I can understand the challenges of Pakistan education system, as well as I have a very good command and personal uh, engagement with the education system from the Western countries. So in this way, I have a very long experience and have a very solid experience from Pakistan to West, where I have learned many things. I hope uh, this learning and this experience can be a vital role, play a vital role in the development of International School of Cordoba. Can you provide examples of your success in carrying out similar responsibilities? Yes, uh, there are many success stories. First of all, uh, I would like to thank you that you have a very good question. My personal experience that, as I have mentioned earlier, that Ghazali Education Trust was the primary and the basic project to uplift the rural education in Punjab. I was the first director of that project. We have established uh, 22 schools and no it is the Ghazali Education Foundation have more than 800 schools all over Pakistan. That is my first success story. And the second story is that I have established Islamic school in Norway, where East uh, and the Western cultural and societies. And in the same way, we have introduced the Islamic school system in the Western countries. And in this way, we have uh, very good cooperation and interaction with the Western educational uh, personalities where they have uh, a very good contact and they was very happy to know about the Islamic education system in Pakistan, especially in the Muslim world. And the last one is I am very busy with the volunteer work where we have also established uh, with the kind cooperation of the Al Khidmat Foundation uh, child Protection Center, as well as we have, uh, I was, I am still, I am the board member of the Awosh. Uh, this is a school system for the very talented and the orphan students of Pakistan. They have many schools all over the Pakistan. So I think these are the basic three success stories I would like to mention in response to your question. What are your goals for the Institute in the next five years? Yes, the best school for parents as well as uh, for the students that we can, uh, we have uh, announced and uh, we have been working still on this project, Achha Insan, a, a good uh, human beings as well as uh, very good students in, the, in their academics. This is my personal goal in the coming five years. What is your personal vision for the Institute's its role in the community? Yes, community development and uh, very good engagement with the other private schools because there are many students uh, that has been enrolled in the private schools. 
but their academics and their teacher training, their engagement with the parents are not up to the mark. So this is my personal interest and goal to work with the private schools that we can uplift the community and make a very good system for our coming generations. How do you handle challenging situations and crises? Challenge is always very interesting for my personal life. I like challenges and uh, there are many challenges. I'm a good listener. I have tried my best to understand the situation and assessment and uh, always consult with the relevant persons and find a good solutions of their challenges. Describe your management style and how you empower your team. I am a very democratic person. I like to have develop a team and a very good cooperation with the co-members of all levels in any school, in any institutions where I have been working in the different posts. What, what are some obstacles you anticipate and how would you overcome them? We have many challenges and obstacles, but uh, in my terminology, I have never used obstacles. These are the challenges by my personal experience as well as for our schools. And in this way, the biggest challenge I am facing in my educational career, the people the working in the educational sectors, they are not uh, well updated according to the educational standards of the world. So this is a big challenge I have to face many times in my personal capacity as well as on institutions level. How do you prioritize and allocate resources effectively? Yes, that is a very interesting question. We are a private school and we are working with the private institutions. So it depends upon the situation, economical situations of the parents group. So we assess the over challenges, over needs, and according to the challenges and needs, we define the priorities in the financial sectors that how much we can use in the development of uh, staff and as well as uh, for the new projects for our coming generations, the brilliant Cordovians in our schools. What is your definition of success for an educational institute? Yes, uh, the confidence from the community, people like that school and that institutions and especially the personality of the students uh, over graduates from the metric if they are confident they are a good human being and they want to serve the society so i think this is the role model and this is the basic criteria of success according to your question in my personal view what are your areas of strength and areas of improvement very interesting questions and uh, my uh, the, that the one question and the one topic and the one area that is a very powerful and always motivating me that is that we are working for a great cause we are the good human being and we are trying to uplift the society that is a very positive and motivating factor for me and the other side the state response as well as the teachers working with the community when they are not busy with the philosophy of education so that is a, sometimes a big challenge for me. Heartfelt thank you to our incredible guest, Mia Vakas Wahid Sahib, for sharing their invaluable insights and experiences with us today. Your wisdom and dedication to education continue to inspire us all. Wait for our next podcast with very exciting and interesting personalities. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Manuel Fad. Asad, thank you.